Hi folks, it's Taylor here and we're uh, Jason and I are just at a client's place in Colwood where we put in a food forest uh, that was planted last October. The earthworks, uh, these mounds and everything you see was done before that in August. But anyways, what I want to show you is that this bed here that you're looking at has a whole bunch of rotting wood underneath it and also has that pipe taking all the water off the roof underground underneath this bed and that pipe runs underneath a whole bunch of rotting wood. Now I just want to show you, it's a year later, and Jason, do you want to ring out? Yeah, so basically we're cutting into the main and we just came across uh, the wicking action of the hemoculture bed here, and you can just see like the wood, you can break a piece off of it and like just hold it and squeeze it. And it's dripping water, you see that? That's like, it's just like soaked right in. This is all old rotting wood. And Taylor said that this would happen, and he's right. Like, it just look at that, it's just pure water. So that's storing it in your dry season underneath the soil. And what is it, it makes it available to all the plants and all that stuff, so. For sure, so we got, yeah, this whole bed is like that. When we initially did the edging, we just kind of made it a bit shorter. That's why we're hitting wood down there, but that's the end of the bed. But this whole thing is like that. So we have this water battery underneath the whole, the whole thing going into the dry season. Cool. Okay, Jay. Yeah. Farewell.